easy errand, a trip to the drugstore. But that simple trip to the store cost a local 70 an easy errand, a trip to the drugstore. But that simple trip to the store cost a local 78-year-old man his life. Watch News Abe McDaniel looks at the investigation into this latest Orange County murder. That was a hard... Without sanctuary, my man. Without sanctuary. I mean, to just shoot this guy down like a dog in the street and flee into the night and go smoke some J's and get on Instagram and hang out with your boys like nothing's happened. I'm telling you, man, this place is not a community. There's nothing communing you about this place. Stop routinely calling this place a community. We're not a community. We're the stand. The stand. There ain't no daggone community. This guy get killed and nobody knows nothing. And the guys just who killed him just go out to kill again and kill again and nobody says anything and the greatest protesters to ever walk the face of the earth the greatest protesters to ever walk the face of the earth silent on this The marchingest people to ever march. March, we march more than ancient soldiers. Ancient armies ain't got nothing on us when it comes to marching. And there'd be not one march for this guy. No one would even think about marching. They would, that's the tough part about it. This guy, they, that, it does, they don't even think they're like that. It, it, it doesn't even cross their mind to mark or, or to demand justice. I mean, real like they do. Like we supposed to turn up. We supposed to tear up this, the city for this guy. Some fools done killed this. Hey man, where y'all at, man? What a rat hole y'all hanging out at it. Anybody know anything? We coming for you just for knowing. You gonna tell us? Where no way you can hide. Fortunately, no, he wasn't killed by a cop or a glacier glider. Hardworking man. He was retired. 78-year-old Yu Ken Cummings shot in a local parking lot at Silver Star Road and North Powers Drive around 3.30 Sunday afternoon. He's a father, a brother, a grandfather. Didn't deserve this at all. The victim's son asks us not to identify him as this investigation into his father's death moves forward. His death so troubling and hard to take. We people, we don't bother anybody. Like, uh, I don't understand how any of this happened. It should have been the simplest of errands on a Sunday afternoon. An errand we all run all the time. Picking up a prescription. An errand which ended violently. It's bad, man. And I know for people... The elderly like that, it, it just make them not want to come out at all. Like, it's, and that's no way to live, man. Like, it's senseless. You want to man, salute to this son, man. He's. I know he's in a state of numbness and disbelief. He's got a microphone in his face. Listen, man, I just, there's no, there's never any tough talk for the guys. Like, yo, whoever did this, man, and you don't, it doesn't have to be threats. I'm not saying jump out there and threaten the guys because they're still out there and they'll get upset if you do that. 
But like, man, I hope y'all. I hope y'all get eaten by bears. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? I hope you get attacked by a pack of wild dogs. Elderly like that, it just make them not want to come out at all. Like, it's, and that's no way to live, man. Like, it's senseless. The Orange County Sheriff's Office says it appears three suspects carjacked the 78-year-old in the parking lot, using the victim's keys to drive off in his car, shooting him in the process. Cummings was rushed to the hospital where he died. They're going to get caught. They got to they gotta be dealt with. Like, this, this can't go like that. Investigators are not offering any suspect descriptions or releasing the type of car they're looking for. A sheriff's office email saying detectives are working to find the murderers and bring them to justice. Something the family fully supports. They didn't deserve that. It's a car, man. In order they carjacked this dude in a busy parking lot in broad daylight and shot him. Listen, man, I feel bad when I don't open the door for a 70-year-old person. Like, if there's a 70-year-old person behind me and I don't see them and I just walk through the door and I turn around and I see them, I'm like, oh, snap. Can't believe I didn't hold the door for them. Shooting them in broad daylight in a busy parking lot? And fleeing in their car? That's another level of that's like a whole that's a whole nother ball game. Listen, man. Um something's gotta be done. We're not equipped to handle it as a community on our own. We're gonna need people from outside the community to come and save us. When they come and save us from ourselves, sisters, I need you to stand down. Just let them do it. I know these your kids and your sons and your kings. Let the outsiders come in and fix our community. Because something has to be done. I want to show you this breaking overnight. Two suspects accused of killing a 78-year-old man over the weekend. A high-profile case arrested. This was video tweeted out by the sheriff's office around 2.15 this morning, which is showing their perp walk. And Fox so this is who killed this 78-year-old brother. God. Broad daylight, crowded parking lot. Had never met him until the moment they killed him. Lives just down the drain. Looking defiant. Look at her as she walks in there. Defiant. As if you know it, it, it is what it is. Look at them. They looking like. They looking like they mad. They in a world of trouble man. They are in a world of trouble. And I can't say what were they thinking. You can't do that anymore. Because you know what they were thinking. Worst case scenario. They catch us. We get out on bond. And we get a 2023 court date. I don't think they thought they were going to have to kill this old guy. He may have, you know, froze, been startled and froze. And, you know, didn't move fast enough. And it's a crowded parking lot, broad daylight. They're scared, too, because they're, they know, like, what they're doing is extremely high risk. Cop could be, could be driving down the street anytime. Moving too slow, old man. Bang. Let's go. And not to like make excuses for them, but that's the level of thinking. Like we're not talking about rocket scientists or microbiologists. Okay? 
We're talking about people who do stuff like this. While living in the greatest country in the world during the time where you can walk into any business right now and tell them you want a job and they'll give you a a uniform on the spot and a thousand dollar signing bonus. And the defiance, if I was the judge, I would tap on an extra 50 years just for the look in your eyes. Like, you you just killed this old man and you're not sobbing in your mugshot? <laughs> oh, my God, what have I done? You look like... Okay. <laughs> I want to show you this breaking overnight. Two suspects accused of killing a 78-year-old man over the week in a high-profile case arrested. This was video tweeted out by the sheriff's office around 2.15 this morning, which is showing their perp walk. And Fox 35's Amanda McKenzie joins us outside the Orange County Jail this morning. Amanda, we're still working on how these suspects were tracked down, but we know the sheriff said they were not going to sleep until they were arrested. That's right, and they certainly followed through with that promise, working day and night to track down those two suspects. And it was overnight that they were placed in handcuffs and arrested and then taken to jail. You can see in this video that's new from uh, this morning, the suspects, Javon White and Jasmine Monroe, both are charged with first-degree murder and carjacking. They were accused of killing 78-year-old Yukon Cummings as he walked out of a CVS pharmacy on the corner of Powers and Silver Star Road on Sunday. Mr. Cummings was returning to his vehicle when he was confronted by two individuals who shot him and took the keys to his vehicle. So according to this, <laughs> I guess they've seen the tape or the, the, the security cam and talked to witnesses. So they just came up, shot the old man and took his car. There goes my theory. <laughs> Listen, man. It's some cold people out on these streets right now. Some cold sun people on these streets right now. <laughs> That's an oxymoron. There's some cold sun people out there. Woo! Mm. I mean, <laughs> this can't be their first rodeo. They need to go and look at a lot of cold cases in the Orlando area. Well, that, you know, that whole area. Because it can't be, you. I don't believe it that this is their first rodeo. You just see an old man, all right. Let's get it. Here you go. Let's get him. Because, they, you know, these are crimes of opportunity. You know, they riding around looking for somebody. Oh, they go a perfect one. Old man, come on. Give me the gun. Bang. Take his keys. That can't be their first rodeo, man. <laughs> I hope they got caught with the gun so they can at least, you know, see if that gun's been used in any other unsolved murders, man. I, I just don't believe that this is their first rodeo. Mr. Cummings was returning to his vehicle when he was confronted by two individuals who shot him and took the keys to his vehicle. Investigators say Cummings suffered two gunshot wounds before the suspects ran over him twice as they fled in his car. A brutal attack in broad daylight. So they ran over him twice. Uh, 
Um, if I hear one more thing about criminal justice reform and sentencing, whining about it, the reason the sentences are disparaged is because when you see these, these, these two probably have a rap sheet long in the shack feet. And now they just did this. So, I'm, I'm, sisters, let me holler at you, sisters, you activist sisters. What's the judge supposed to do? Well, you know, I have to make sure. I have to look at my 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 record and see how much time I've given all the glacier glider people who have um carjacked 78 year old men and ran over them twice and shot them twice in broad daylight and see make sure that I give these guys the same amount of time listen man that's too much man this is why you this is why there's a disparity in sentencing cuz you have a long rap sheet then you come in with this <laughs> you're on parole probation then you come in with this that's the sentencing disparity sister okay just talking to my activist sisters. Investigators say Cummings suffered two gunshot wounds before the suspects ran over him twice as they fled in his car. A brutal attack in broad daylight. The sheriff says his team worked the case around the clock, first finding the stolen car, and now early this morning arresting the two suspected killers. We are working to find out when they plan to make their first appearance in court. Reporting live from the Orange County Jail, Amanda McKenzie, Fox 35 News. Oh, the 78-year-old was carjacked and shot outside a CVS pharmacy family says he was just there to pick up a prescription. Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us. I'm Bridget Ellison. And I'm Justin Warmoth. New Six's Mark Lehman is at the Orange County Jail with more on how deputies tracked down the suspects. The arrests came after a day's long search and the sheriff saying detectives were working around the clock to solve the murder of the 78 year old. Now court documents are giving us many more details about what led to the capture of those suspects. The Orange County Sheriff's Office sending out this video overnight of the couple they say are responsible for killing 78 year old Yukon Cummings Sunday afternoon. 19 year old Javon White and 25 year old Jasmine Monroe are facing first degree murder and carjacking charges after investigators say the two shot Cummings outside of Pine Hill CVS and ran him over with his own vehicle. According to the arrest affidavit, detectives found Cummings SUV that evening in Daytona Beach. It was the next day when their suspicions turned to White and Monroe. Investigators say on January 29th, a Honda Civic was seen leaving the scene of several car burglaries and found at the park at Highgate Apartments. That complex is right around the corner from the CVS, and the vehicle is registered to Monroe. So they kept doing what they was doing. They didn't stop. I, t I knew it wasn't. Listen. She used her personal vehicle. She used her personal vehicle to commit crimes in. Probably had a car seat in it and everything. You know she got about three kids. So it wasn't even their first rodeo that day. Well, I don't think they killed anybody else that day, but they'd been pretty active that day. And she was using her personal vehicle to pull up. And you know she's a mother. You know she got three, four kids at home. You can see her trying to look tough. She trying to look tough. But she knows she done stepped in it. She knows she stepped in it. 
she probably sobbed all night in her cell and down at the um cell block. They, they haven't taken her to jail yet. Just in the holding cell. But it, she might be jail jail by now. Been processed and then sent over to the jail. I know she in her cell sobbing. She is never going to be free again. It was the next day when their suspicions turned to White and Monroe. Investigators say on January 29th, a Honda Civic was seen leaving the scene of several car burglaries and found at the park at Highgate Apartments. That complex is right around the corner from the CVS and the vehicle is registered to Monroe. After reviewing surveillance video at several locations, detectives say they were able to link the couple to the crime scene. They were then taken into custody Wednesday, and investigators say they found an AR-15 they believe was the murder weapon. Both suspects admitting to being involved in the encounter, White claiming self-defense as the victim pulled a handgun of his own, but deputies say it was White and Monroe who were the aggressors. So they claim it's self-defense. Oh my God! So old man had a handgun of his own. So that that's what caused it. That's that's what he they they ran up on him trying to steal his car. He pulled out. They shot him with the AR. Ran over him twice. Old man was ready though. <laughs> Salute to the old man, man. He was ready. He just was outgunned, and. You really can't compete with these people because, like, like we see, like this man, you know, he's been around seventy eight years. He's probably made wise decisions. He thinks a certain way. Bonnie and Clyde here, they'll throw it all away in an instant. They don't care. Their life means nothing. Their freedom means nothing to them. The only person their freedom means something to is somebody like Kim Kardashian or the Innocence Project. <laughs> they don't care about their own freedom. They were then taken into custody Wednesday, and investigators say they found an AR-15 they believe was the murder weapon. Both suspects admitting to being involved in the encounter, White claiming self-defense as the victim pulled a handgun of his own, but deputies say it was White and Monroe who were the aggressors. In addition to murder and carjacking charges, deputies say Monroe admitted to disposing of evidence, which they say implicates her in the crime. Both White and Monroe are being held without bond. In Orlando, Mark Lehman getting results, News 6. And this is the part that frustrates me so much about the Sun community. <laughs> the stand. There is no community. This is what frustrates me mo most about the stand. Had these two been more, let's just say, more adept, more skilled at, you know, evading law enforcement, had they been better at not being so sloppy and say they had committed this crime, they weren't on camera. They weren't like she wasn't using her personal car, or whatever, blah, blah, blah. And the police really didn't have any leads. The community would have known who did this. Certain people in the community, many people. Because they would have talked. These two would have talked, told people. Um, police may have released security camera footage, whatever. Had these two not been so sloppy, they could have gotten away with this. And no one in the community would have told because of the no snitch policy in the community. Now, here's the thing. Ordinary sun people, working class sun people, foster this type of jungle environment. And they allow it to proliferate and fester the guardians of it by not cooperating with police. 
Yet, as soon as these two psychopaths got caught, they cooperated with the police. 